Maybe you're a... How's the offensive line coming along? Are, are you seeing a lot of progress? Oh, yeah, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time, you know, taking in all the knowledge we can get from Coach Mateos and Coach Grimes and just getting better each day. You know, we take the stuff that we learn and we just build on it and just learn and get better each and every day. How would you describe Coach Mateos' style? How does he come across to the uh... Oh, he's a good coach. You know, he's a real good coach. You know, like he always says, he's for the boys, and he's for us, and we're for him, and we all locked in together to reach our goal in the fall. Xavier, you've been through so much change just since you arrived. What's it like to, to go through more change? How do you attack that this time? You know, it's the same for me. It's the same for me and the guys, you know, just being here, being a leader, trying to make sure everybody is on top of their game and learning from the new staff. I think it was Coach Grimes early said you guys were kind of rotating in. You know, might play left guard one day, right tackle the other. I mean, how has that gone and maybe just kind of learning different positions and stuff? I think it's good. I think it's good for everybody because, you know, during the course of a season, you never know what can happen. So if you're practicing every position and getting better at every position, you never know what it is and you'll be ready when, it, when your number's called. What all spots are you seeing time in? Everybody's playing everything. You know, we're all just getting better. Does that help playing all different positions? Oh, yeah, it helps everybody, you know, because it gives everybody the sense to learn what each position has to do for each play, whether it's to the right or to the left, all the cadences. It just helps everybody. It's their football IQ up and gets the knowledge of the playbook better. Xavier, they always talk about the wide zone. Talk about that and, and maybe does that fit you guys well, you think? Oh, yeah, it's good for everybody. You know, just the whole new offense is good. What were kind of some of your individual uh, goals maybe in the off season as far as just being in shape, doing things? Was there anything that you kind of focused in on specifically? Just becoming a better player for myself, becoming a better player for the team, and just helping everybody we get better so we can reach our goal in the fall. You a big basketball fan? Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of. I mean, it's been cool to see what the men's team did. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad that they were able to, you know, reach their goal, and I'm excited for them. Thank you. Thank y'all. Jared, what do you say from the safety so far in the spring? I would say tremendous improvement. Everyone's learning their craft more. Everyone's honing in on the details, their technique. And everyone's starting to play the ball more. I'm seeing a lot more interceptions from the guys. We already had a, quite a bit last year, but we're getting even more now. So good improvement. Do you feel like maybe an extra responsibility this year of one of the veterans? Yeah, I see my myself as a leader on the team, you know, helping the younger guys learn the defense. Helping them run to the ball, that's the hard part. So, yeah, I see myself as a leader. How would you describe the chemistry now with Coach Roberts and the rest of the staff a year removed from first getting to know them? Oh, man, it's – I'd say plus 100%. We're, we're like a family. Everyone knows whenever Coach Robert gets on – he gets on me a lot. You know, when he gets on me, I don't take it personal. I know he wants to see me be a good player. When Coach Powell gets on, gets on me, you know, he wants me to be a better player. So, no one takes any of that personal. I feel like that's the, the biggest improvement. We're just – we want to win, so – Everyone's in the same direction. Jared, are you locked in or are you moving around? A different, I know they've kind of rotated some guys around. Right now I'm locked in at one position at free safety, so that's pretty – Free safety? Yeah, that's nice for me because I played all three yeah. safety positions last year, which was a lot. But, you know, I'm here to help the team, so anything that they need me to do, yeah. I'll go to it and try my best of, at it. Sorry. You saw a lot of time last year. Just what was the experience like? How, how did that change you as a player and just – you know, getting better overall. Yeah, it was great, you know, playing anything to help the team, you know, so that experience I gained really helped me become a better football player. So, yeah, hopefully I can translate that to this year. Jaron, obviously you could have moved on. Mm -hmm. What was your, you know, what did your decision come down to in terms of coming back? And what, you know, what do you see out of that opportunity, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I love working with Coach, I call him Uncle Ron, Coach <laughs> Roberts and Coach <laughs> Pallage, you know, and, and I'm here for my Masters too. So everything just worked out perfect for me. So, uh, yeah, another year. What's your master in? Geology. Okay. Uh, having a year under Coach Roberts, has that helped? Do you feel like you know the defense? Better? Yeah, I, I know the defense a lot more, especially playing multiple positions. I know the in and out of the defense probably more than other people. So, yeah, I try to help people learn it and do that. What do you see from the, the leadership side of the defense? Yeah, there's great leaders on defense. Terrell, PD, you know, Christian, JT. Everyone, everyone has a leadership role, even – more than just those guys. So everyone plays their part and everyone does their job. Jaron, that defensive line was really young last year, a lot of new guys in there. 
What are you seeing from them, their growth? Or are you seeing development there, I guess? Yeah, for sure. Coach Ren has been uh, preaching dominating the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. so they're, they're dominating the line. You know, I, I don't get to see them too much because I'm focused on receivers right. and stuff. Right. But, yeah, they're, they're doing their part, which is nice to see. How different is this offense, facing this offense, versus what you've done the last uh, couple of years? Yeah, it's it's a dynamic offense, so they do a lot of more, a lot of different formations, you know. So they have a lot of playmakers, so it's a dynamic offense. All right, thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate it. No problem, thank you. Coach, what do you say from the O line so far? Are they progressing like you hope? Or? Yes, yes, uh, progressing every day. Um, guys that are eager, eager to play well, and they want to be coached, and um, they're being coachable and. Seeing, seeing steps forward every single practice. Are you, would you say the positions are pretty much up for grabs? Uh, Xavier says everybody plays, you know, several positions. Yeah, I mean, it's April, what? I don't know. It's <laughs> April. Right. Yeah. yeah it's we, won't, we, won't set, um, we won't set a starting five till about two weeks out from oh, right. our first game. So we've got a long ways to go on, on setting uh, uh, the best five. Coach, what's the benefit of rotating guys like that and getting them to play the different positions, learn those positions? What's the benefit of that? Um, position versatility. Uh, I think there's, especially uh, in the era of contact tracing and COVID, uh, position versatility, you never know when somebody's just going to disappear <laughs> from your locker room. Um, you know, when I was at uh, BYU, over the course of two seasons, I played 28 different offensive line lineups um, because of injuries and and uh, COVID. And so, I think the more you you train guys um, and teach them the entire scheme of of the offense, then you move guys around when those uh, moments come up, they're ready. And that's to me, that's a big part of playing the position. Would you say that there's been a lot to teach from what they kind of knew previously? Is it, is it drastically different, or kind of how, how much time does that take to kind of get to know what you're looking for? Uh, well, I know what I'm looking for, so that doesn't take much time. But to get them there, um, that is, uh, you know, every every coach has a different emphasis of fundamentals, and so my emphasis of fundamentals is different than the next guy's, and that's okay. Um, I, I want to sell what I believe in, and that's my job as a coach, that I believe that what I'm teaching is the best stuff out there. I'm giving them the best tools for their toolbox. So where they started is really irrelevant because everybody starts at different places. And, and for me, the goal is, is how many tools do we, do we have ready and sharp when we kick off the first game. When you look at where they were a year ago, what do you feel like is the biggest area of improvement for this O-line? Uh, like from like where they where like, they've improved so far, or like what, coming into to spring ball, what would you say was the biggest area of improvement that you were looking to see out of? Oh, that they needed. Yeah, you know, I don't know that there was like uh, an area. I didn't watch any of the film from last season. That's um, it's really none of my business, quite honest, honestly. And I think it, they deserve to have a clean slate, and that's what I wanted to, to give them, and I wanted that to be honest. I didn't want for me to come in and say, you have a clean slate, but really I have some prejudice from film. So I think my number one goal, um, especially when you start with a new group, is building grit and building uh, unit, uh, cohesiveness. And, uh, you know, I had a, a great coach in junior college, Ryan Rhodes, who told me uh, the tighter we are, the better we are. And, and I've been holding on that for a long time, and I think that's where you have to start, especially when it's a new old line group. I mean, any position coach that takes over a new unit, they have that challenge of, you know, get earning trust. Um, so that's my goal too is earn that trust, but also uh, they need to trust each other. Uh, ultimately, when we leave spring, they all need to know that they have each other's backs. Eric, how much have you leaned on or have you on Connor Galvin being a veteran guy that's played a lot? Is he a guy that's kind of stepped up in that group? Uh, yeah, uh, I would say I've been able to lean on him. He's really, he's really buying into what we're teaching. Uh, fits his skill set very well. Uh, he's a guy who uh, has really bought into the technique, and I've been able to lean on him when I need to. He's been very accessible. He's been uh, really, really working on his vocal leadership, which I think has already come a long way in 10-11 uh, practices, and I've been really pleased with him. Anybody else standing out that you'd like to talk about? Um, everybody has something that they've done that I've been like, wow. 
you know, could you have done that six practices ago? And, um, you know, I think everybody has collective uh, fleas, if you will, and everybody has things that they're really, really improving on. And so um, I can't really point a single guy out and say, man, that guy has improved more than this other guy because I think everybody has been improving quite a bit. So what is the strength level? Is it where you want it to be or does it need to get Strength, like strength, uh, yeah, like weight room, like yeah. body strength. Yeah. Um, it's good, and we got some strong cats. We got some, we got some bona fide freaks. You know, some thick butts, some thick thighs, and we got them in the room. You know, uh, it's not an empty cupboard, and um, you know, there's there's talent in the room, and uh, it's my job to coach them and give them the technique and the confidence to go play fast and run through somebody's face. But there's talent there, and so uh, our strength numbers are looking looking good. What's it been like being back in Texas? I uh, love Texas. Um, I plan to retire in Texas. Uh, this has been a dream for me, and, and um, you know, I've been able to enjoy Whataburger uh, maybe a few too many times so far. But, um, no, it's good. Me and my wife, uh, Jillian, are loving it here. The people here have been so good to us. By the way, happy birthday, Jillian. My wife's birthday is on Saturday, so... Love you, babe. But uh, we've been just so grateful to be here, and then everybody has really treated us well. You have a go-to at Whataburger? Uh, yeah, patty melt for sure. Uh, onion good. rings, though, yeah, too. Let's not good. let's not sleep on the <laughs> onion rings. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, Coach, how's the safeties group coming along? Really good. Um, I feel like we have six guys right now that are competing, playing really fast right now, um, being generals kind of in the back end, um, being great communicators. I think that um, is a little bit different than maybe where we were last year uh, from a depth standpoint. So that's really, really exciting. Yeah, that was one of the maybe the thinner groups. Do you see that depth building? And, and are you, because I asked Jaron if, if he was locked into one spot, are you trying to get guys locked into a spot? Yeah, a little bit more so. Um, Jaron, and since I've been here, he's been like our Mike, uh, Mark Vital, you know, on the basketball team. He's kind of been our glue guy. Um, did a tremendous job last year from the standpoint of played three different positions, played them all well. At some point in time, you know, was starting, at, you know, at all three positions, um, you know, depending on the game, uh, some of the COVID stuff, injuries, so on and so forth. Uh, and then did a tremendous job on special teams, too. And um, in saying that, we're kind of focusing him a little bit more on one spot. And I think we've seen him kind of develop this spring uh, and get, be get a lot better just by focusing on one thing. Uh, and then we've had a couple of guys really step up this spring, whether that's uh, Lorando Johnson, who we call Snacks, and then uh, Devin Neal. Uh, so, uh, you know, that kind of gives us six guys that we feel really good about right now. And then we got some, some, some other guys kind of in the, in, the, in the wings that I think um, in the future, you know, could have an impact in the program. Coach Aranda had mentioned uh, because of depth, like potentially looking at guys. Is that something that y'all continue to do, like moving a corner to safety, kind of getting a glance there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Lorando came from the corners room. Um, we kind of made a swap uh, with Al Walcott, moved him to corner, who had been at safety. Uh, I think both those moves have been really good for both guys. And I think, I think both guys could probably play either position. Um, but what are they best at? We were trying to, trying to figure that out this spring. Uh, and it's really worked out for us. It's been tremendous. And I guess you've got, I mean, if you look at your special teams across the board, you pretty much got everybody back, it seems like. How nice is that to kind of come into the spring knowing, and here's our guys? Yeah, it's been really nice. Um, you know, John Mayer's coming back, Noah uh, Rauschenberg coming back, Isaac Power. Uh, we bring back Thor and, and Gunnar Royer um, from a snapping standpoint. And really, they're, they're, all of them are doing a tremendous job competing. And we have competition, you know, really all over the place. Uh, Bryce Bolin from Waco Midway, um, had, you know, has had some really good practices and kicked the ball really well um, this spring thus far. Uh, so it's a group, it, you know, it kind of it, it helps you a little bit um, uh, kind of sleep better at night as a special teams coordinator. Um, and those guys are trying to take their game to the next level. Um, so I think just overall, it's been it's been great. What about having a return guy like Tristan back? Oh, man, Tristan's a, a special, you know, when, when, when they're kicking off to him. Uh, he just has great vision and obviously that athletic ability that he has. But he has a great feel for things, too. Um, so I think you're going to you're, you're going to see him uh, kind of uh, build off, you know, what, what he did last year in the return game. Uh, and uh, it's it, it's awesome, man. We got some guys that are excited to block for him, too. 
uh, I think that's uh, always exciting. I, th I think it's easier, you know, when they look back there and they say, okay, this, <laughs> this is who I'm blocking for? Uh, we got a chance to score. So uh, that's, that's fun. When you look at special teams last year, what were you – uh, maybe most proud of or feel the best about and what areas did you in this offseason look and go okay we've got to get really a lot better here yeah I think probably the the high points obviously um, you know for us is um, you know from a kickoff return standpoint I think we led the country in explosive returns um, I think we had seven over 40 yards or more uh, so that was a high point and uh, was really excited about that and building off of that um, you know Noah had a high touchback percentage last year that's exciting um, and then, you know, we won, a, we won a ball game, you know, I mean, on, on the last kick of the game where we executed field goal protection and, and, and John knocked it through the upright. So those were some of the highs. Those were the things um, that I saw last year and took away, like, man, you know, we, we got something to build off of. Um, but I think a lot of areas to improve um, kind of in the coverage game, kickoff coverage, punt coverage, eliminating explosives from the other team. Um, just being elite in those categories. Uh, and then from a field goal block standpoint, I think two years ago, um, that was an area where, hey, the other team lines up to kick a field goal, and they don't know if they're getting those three points. And this spring, we've been getting our hands on some balls, and some guys have done an excellent job, especially defensively, uh, kind of buying in, um, having a motor on that fourth down, and, and uh, it's been exciting to see. So uh, those have been some things we've been really trying to improve and focus on. Um, so that would be it probably. You know, that's that's interesting. You asked right now. He's the he's kind of the first punt returner. Okay. Um, there's a couple other guys working that spot um, that, um, you know, are, are, are excellent punt returners, to be honest. Um, and so they're kind of competing with Treston for that spot. I think they all want it. You know, yeah. um, so we'll kind of see how that goes and how that transpires. I think that's a, a spot right there where uh, you kind of put a premium on ball security, uh, who can field the ball, go get the ball, keep the ball off the ground from rolling an extra first down, things like that. Um, and also at the same time, you know, okay, when, once it's in their hands, you know, if all if all is equal, okay, who's who's more dangerous? Drew, one of those guys. Drew, Drew Estrada, yeah. yep, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, Treston, one of those guys. Yeah. Josh Fleeks, yeah. one of those guys as well. Who were, who were the other safeties? You mentioned six, or you felt like you were pretty, pretty yeah. strong. As yeah, six. Christian Morgan, Jalen Petrie, and um, JT Woods. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those three to go along with Lorando Johnson, um, Devin Neal, and Jaron McVay. Mm-hmm. JT and Christian have been around a while now. What's kind of your focus with them and heading into this year and what you want them to improve upon? Yeah, so I think last year um, they did a tremendous job just as far as, hey, alignment, assignment, you know, doing their job, knowing their job, lots of production out of those guys. Um, and also, like, you really dial in and, um, you know, kind of get a magnifying glass out and look at some of those games, and there probably could have even been more production. A lot of that kind of boiled down to maybe, like, fundamentals, technique, knowing where my help is, things like that. Um, so with this spring ball now, like that's really been a focus for us. Number one, okay, know where my help's at, know who I can play to. Number two, you know, our, our technique, our footwork, right, our eye progression, things like that. So I think, you know, we're transitioning better, we're breaking better, we're seeing things earlier. And I think what you're going to see is more production out of those guys, which is, which is good, right, because they were, they were productive last year as well. Um, so, yeah, those, those three starters are, are good th uh, a good three to bring back. All right. Thank you, All right. Thank you all so much.